Hey guys, this is Samia from Bookfeast channel. Today in this video, we are gonna deal with the topic, a short story, which is titled Little Cyclone, the story of a grizzly cub. And it is written by William Temple, Horana Day. And when you talk about the author's introduction, he was born on 1st December 1854 in Awan, in Indiana, United States. He was an American zoologist and he has written many works related to the wildlife and the conservations and in this short story also we are going to talk or we are going to share or we are going to read about the wildlife of a cup so the writer starts by putting up two main words it seems to be the key and the background maybe even the theme of the story that is we find little kids hugging their teddies and not parting from them even when they sleep Perhaps the warm and furry appearance of the bear attracts them and offers them comfort. So, you may usually see a girl, especially a girl baby, who often holds a teddy in her hand. She even wanted the teddy to eat when she was eating. She wanted the teddy to dress when she was dressing. And what are the things that is owned by her? She wanted the same copy to be owned by her teddy. And second point is, little kids were not sent anywhere apart from their family. Likewise, especially a mother, she never comes forward to send her child. Even though she's grown up or she's very small, the mother would never send her out, especially uh, when it is the time about uh, any traveling, any issues. So here we are going to deal with the cup which is isolated from its family and what would be the result of the reaction or maybe the uh, character or behavior of the particular bear. So the bear is titled Little Cyclone. He is from the uh, grizzly and he is a cub. He is a young one. Little Cyclone is a grizzly cub from Alaska and he was, uh, he was the one who earned his name by the vigor of his resistance to ill treatment. When his mother was fired at on a timbered hillside facing the river called Chilkat, he and his brother ran away from that place as fast as their stumpy legs could carry them. But in vain, they were caught in the next day. When they crept uh, where they had last seen her, they thought that she was asleep. But actually she was dead. She was not asleep. They curdled up close against her warm body and uh, slept peacefully until the morning. When the morning uh, came, the sun has washed out their all their hope. And they came to know that the two became orphans. So the two little orphans were awakened by the rough grasp of the human hands. They made a frizzy fight to save themselves from these captors. But actually his brother escaped. But the little cyclone, he was seized by them. So he was uh, taken to the place where the forest that is the natural forest so it is not actually nature forest it is natural forest and the his brother still uh, he is staying in the chill court a uh, cyclone was bounded by ropes when he was saved by the friendly hands of these zoological society's field agent he placed himself uh, he placed the cup in the comfortable box and freed a uh, cup from all the annoyance and shipped him to new york in order to get a betterment in his life and he was at that time as curious and amusing but he was very roguish looking cup he stepped each and every step of himself leads to his quality and his braveness it had fluffy hair two big uh, black eyes which sparkled like a jet beads and short fat nose but his claws were strong and dangerous that he had a truly grizzly spirit the bear's nursery at the New, uh, New York uh, Zoological Park was big yard and it has many number of plants and climbers, creepers, especially uh, the swimming pool which can admire, which can become the center of the attraction there. And tree slipping gents and uh, rock, a cliff rock, that is a small rock and uh, 6 to 8 cups can be accommodated in that nursery. Usually we may see a newcomer. When someone is a newcomer, they are shy, they feel shy, they keep themselves away from others, they won't talk more. But what uh, this cup did actually was, a newcomer would be scared. But actually, he be, uh, started behaving in a different manner because he is from the highly spirited family background. 
they were uh, full uh, they were born full of courage and devoid of all sen- senses of fear and he walked stiffly with pride and found himself free in the nursery when little zar who is a good natured european brown bear aimed to give a blow in his left ear automatically he took up his revenge and second comes the black bear cub who was also just passing the newcomer and treating himself in a cruel manner again the little cub gave him a great shot so this proved that the uh, cub is very brave and strong so from that time he was respected by all the people in the zoo and he was a fine spirit too so he dignified his good quality and then therefore he never attracted anyone so here the story concludes this full story talks about what will be the result if an animal is separated from its family at present it is accompanied by his own uh, his own company but not literally their family when it was separated and when it was in the uh, it was like in the hands of the human it was behaving in a bad manner that fear made the bear to feel bad and uh, aim at the uh maybe the zar or the other bear and when you talk about characters here cyclone seems to be the protagonist and cyclone was first uh hurted by little zar little zar is an european brown bear in second cyclone was hurted by a black bear cub and finally two captors who came forward in order to uh hurt not literally to hurt in order to give the betterment for the bear So here I conclude my video and if you want this particular post to be in Tamil please do refer the description for the link please do like share comment and subscribe our channel to get further more updates thank you